What if I tell you that these ancient words of wisdom still ring true today? The human mind is like a vehicle where all your questions and even answers are there. But the main problem is you never ask for the answers. If you ask the question, then you'll receive the answer. If you, in case if you are looking for something or confused in life, ask the questions not one time but multiple times until your mind is convinced enough that this fellow really need the answer so i will give that but for that there need to be the right questions if your questions are exactly as per your current need then you'll receive the exact answer it is also called as socratic method this ancient method of teaching developed by the greek philosopher socrates himself it involves asking a series of questions to stimulate critical thinking, encouraging a deep thinking process that helps people to develop their reasoning skills. So I made this set of questions and asked them when I'm lost finding my real objective in this world like who am I really finding my authenticity whatever you call that and I think you'll too relate with this. We sometimes get lost in life unaware of the paths we need to choose clueless on what decisions we need to make or have no idea on what your next step should be a nagging emptiness is there you realize there are something important things that are missing you can't identify what are those so at those times asking these questions so at those times asking these set of questions helped me a lot and I'm quite sure it will work for you too. So without rambling more, let's dive into these questions. What problems or challenges do I fear happening in the future? This question will help you to identify your fears that normally you try to ignore in your everyday life. It will allow you to prepare for the potential challenges and take proactive steps to mitigate risk and live in confidence in this present moment. How much can I sacrifice for something worth sacrificing for? For example, it can be your goal. The question is vital because understanding the extent of your commitment helps clarifying your priorities. It ensures how much you are ready to sacrifice to attaining your goal. And if you are not ready to sacrifice, then think once. Is that goal not strong enough to sacrifice for? What aspect of myself do I hide from others? Is it necessary to hide that anymore? Don't you think that living your authentic self, you need to let that go? This question will encourage you to increase your self-awareness and honesty about the parts of yourself that you may conceal from others, encouraging you to consider whether it's time to embrace your true self. Letting go of those hidden aspects can lead to a greater authenticity and freedom. What societal or cultural standards do I follow to please the society? And how do they impact in living my true self? Is it necessary to continue following that standards or I can let that go? This question will inspire you to examine how societal expectation shapes your behavior and choices. Understanding whether you are living a life to impress the society and decide whether to continue confirming or let go and live more authentically aligning with your personal values. Do I compare myself with others? What quality others has that I can work upon to have that? In today's world of social media, this is a very important question to ask yourself when you constantly compare yourself with others. Comparison can be also taken positively and by identifying qualities in others that you admire, you can make it a constructive tool for self-improvement rather than a source of negativity. What belief do you deeply hold about yourself if proven false, then you think you will lose your identity. If there are any kind of belief 
and you still hold that belief confidently then that's a good news but even if you have one percent doubt about that belief then ask yourself are you prepared enough for the future if it actually turns out to be false if you are not prepared then think what you can do to prepare yourself for this for example someone may believe that doing meditation can change your entire life and maybe someday scientifically it proved that it is not meditation does not work maybe you believe that having coffee gives you energy it motivates you to do work but maybe someday in the future science proved that coffee is not that good for health then are you prepared for those I'm just saying this as an example to make you understand what I'm trying to say. And the last but not the least, what is the one thing that you want to have but fear even thinking about it right now because you believe it might not be possible to achieve? Why not write it at the top of your goal list? Asking yourself this question, it pushes you to confront limiting beliefs about your most desired aspirations by identifying what you desire but fear to pursue it. You can begin to reflect on those doubts and think once, are these fears that difficult to deal with? Okay, that's it. And the last thing is I want to suggest you that while answering these questions, write these answers in a physical copy if possible. It helps you to see the exact reflection of your mind physically. In that copy and if possible also observe how your body is reacting while asking those questions or writing those answers these bodily cues often reveal deeper truths that your conscious mind sometimes overlook for example are you feeling curious are you getting anxious is there any kind of burden inside you that you are feeling for which you are struggling to answer the question because when you are lost in life or finding your authenticity it's not just always about the thoughts or the words it's all about aligning your whole being with your true self so that's it i hope this helped you somehow share this with at least one person whom you think need this meet you in the next one